Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today we're gonna talk about adding text to speech to Godot inside of Android. So we're gonna go through the process of downloading the plugin. We are gonna go ahead and implement that plugin. And then we are going to go ahead and have our phone say hello to us. Now, this is really cool because it provides a very cool interaction with the user and it can help bring some accessibility to your application. So one of the big struggles that people have who are blind is that they can't interact with a lot of applications because they're blind, they can't really see it. But having text to speech could help with that. So that's what I have in store for you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and download the Godot Android text to speech plugin, which is created by I Bardinov. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say their name, but it's created by, by this guy and um, it's a really cool plugin that makes this really simple for us to do. So we're going to come down here to the release section here. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we are going to go ahead and download it. Now I have a link to this in the description below for you guys. So go ahead and pull it from there and we will click on this and download it. Now you'll see windows already pops up for me with it, but I'm going to go back to my downloads and extract it. So we'll go ahead and extract this. All right. So we have ourselves an AAR file and a GDAP file. Now, if you guys haven't done Android plugins before, basically the AAR file is a compiled library for Android to understand how to use the text-to-speech library. And the GDAP is the linker almost to how Godot understands how to use the AAR file. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I also have a tutorial on how to create these and I'll leave a link in the description below for that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and make our Godot project here. So I'm going to open up Godot. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and do a new project and I'm going to say Android. Android TTS tutorial. Go ahead and create that folder, create an edit, and I'm gonna have to resize this for you guys. All right, so now that we're inside of Godot, we need to go ahead and install our Android build template. And what our Android build template is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to compile our Android app with additional plugins. So to do that, we have to go up to project and install Android build template. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we are going to go ahead and click install. And what that's going to do is it's going to uncompress all the Android build sources. So that way we can build our own Android app and actually control the build process manually, which allows us a lot of flexibility. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on our RES file. I'm going to go down to open in file manager, and that's going to pop up my, my project folder location. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Android and I'm going to go into plugins and you'll see that this folder is currently empty. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy our two files here, our AAR and our GDAP file. We're just going to go ahead and grab those, copy them and paste them right into here. All right. So now that they're in here, we're going to go back to Godot and you'll see that we have this little Android folder here. That means that so far we've done everything correct. So what we need to do now is we need to go up to project export, and then we need to go ahead and add our Android export. So we will add it under an, a preset here and go ahead and click. And now we need to go ahead and include our plugin into our build. And we need to use custom build. You can see down here, it says, hey, use custom build must be enabled to be able to use plugins. So we need to come up here and say, hey, I wanna use my custom builds. So we'll go ahead and click on for that. Then we'll go ahead and click close. So now that we've gotten up to this point, we've loaded our plugin, we've set up all of our stuff. At this point, we can go ahead and set up our scene and get into some coding. So what we're gonna do is we'll go up to 2D scene. We will right click, add in a child node, and we're gonna add in two buttons. 
Now you don't need to have two buttons to do this. You can do this through code, but I'm doing this because it's just easier to do it this way for me to show on a tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this button and drag it down. And we're gonna name the first button set language. And actually I don't want the, the space here. So we'll say set language. And then we'll go ahead and say, say hello. All right, we'll go ahead and say on the text, say hello, and we will say set language. Let's go ahead and say set language. All right, so now we gotta go ahead and link these to our script, right? But we don't have a script yet, so we need to build that. So let's go ahead and right click on our node 2D and let's go ahead and attach a script. And then let's just call this TTS manager. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And you will see that we now have our script here. So we need to go ahead and link our buttons to our script so we click on it, it executes stuff inside of our script, right? So we go up to set language, we can go over to node and we can go ahead and double click on our button down and go ahead and link it to our node 2D. We gotta do the same thing with our say hello. So we go to node signal and do it with button down. There we go. And what that's doing is that's connecting those signals. So when you press that button, it emits a signal and then calls the code that's in this section. So now that we have all of our signals created, what we need to do is we need to create our text to speech plugin inside of code, right? So what we need to do is we need to get a reference to that plugin. So we can say is var TTS and in our ready, we can say, Hey, if engine dot has underscore singleton and we need to say what the singleton is. Now, how do we know what the name of the singleton is, right? We just downloaded it from some guy on the internet. We don't know what that singleton name is, right? Well, what we can do is we can go up to our project, we can go to export, and then we can hover over our plugin here, and there is the name of it. So you can see it says plugin slash the name of the plugin. So in this case, it's Godot TTS. We have to make sure that our case is correct because if we do it, with lowercase g or lowercase t, it's not gonna work. So we need to make sure that it's perfectly the same. So we'll come in here and we'll say Godot TTS. So if the engine has that singleton, then we're gonna go ahead and say TTS is equal to engine.getSingleton Godot TTS. And the reason why we have this if statement here is if you run this, we'll go ahead and save this, we don't want it to throw an error. So if I don't have this little bit of code here and we attempt to run this, you'll see in our debugger, we have a crash right here saying, hey, we didn't, we don't have that singleton. And that's a massive problem because the singleton only gets loaded when we are on our Android system. So that's just something to keep in mind. So we'll say, hey, if engine has singleton. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and initialize our TTS. And I'm going to do that in our set language button down because we're setting our language, right? So we can say TTS dot. init uh init text to speech and we need to go ahead and give it a language so in my case i'm going to say english and then they want a country of origin and in my case i'm going to use us because i am from the united states now this is all well and good but what if i put something like english and i put something like you know papa john's right well, that wouldn't work, right? It would crash out on us because that's not a valid location. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is available, that it actually exists and we're not just trying to initialize something that's broken, right? So what we can do is we can say if TTS dot is language available, 
and it's the exact same as as we did here so we'll just go ahead and grab these and put that like that and we can go ahead and tab this in and what this is doing is it's saying hey is this language available? If it is, then let's go ahead and initialize it. If it's not, right? So we could we could actually come in here and say, else print quote language is not available. If we wanted to, right? We could just kind of print out a thing saying, hey, this this doesn't work. Um, in my case, I'm initializing with English US, so it's going to work, but. I'm just saying that you can have that nice little um, check there to make sure that it doesn't blow up on you. And now the last thing that we need to do is we come into our say hello button and we need to call that uh, text to speech. So TTS dot text to speech. And we're just going to go ahead and say hello. And that should be all of the code we need to do to enable text-to-speech inside of Godot for Android. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we have my phone plugged in, what we can do is we can now export this out to our phone. Now, in my case, I have a little Android guy up here in the upper right-hand corner. And actually, I'm gonna stop Godot real quick, but. I have a little Android icon up here in the upper right hand corner. If you don't have this, then you don't have Android debugging on and you need to go in to your Android settings and enable it. And that's different for every phone. So you're probably gonna need to Google it. So that way you can go and find it. But as soon as you have Android debugging on, this little Android guy will show up. And if you don't have this, what you can do is you can just go to project, export, and then export out your project as an APK file, and then just manually copy it over and install it if you want to do that route. But I'm going to go the shortcut and just go ahead and click on my little Google Pixel icon here. So this is going to build, and I will be right back. All right, so now you can see it on my Android device here. So if I go ahead and click set language, you'll see that nothing's happened. But if I click on say hello, oh, my volume's all the way down. Let's go ahead and click on say hello. Hello. And you can hear that it now says hello. Hello. So now the question is, what if we're talking a lot and we want to make the text -to speech engine stop talking, right? Like, let's say it's just babbling on about stuff that we don't really need it to say. How do we get it to stop? Well, we can actually call a function specifically for that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll come to our node 2D. We are going to right click, add in a button again, and we will go ahead and make this button about the right size. And we'll put it right below the previous buttons here. We'll go ahead and name this button stop. And then we will go ahead and go to our text and call it stop as well. And then we'll go ahead and go to our node do button down and attach it to our script. And for us to get this to stop, all we need to do is call TTS dot stop. And that's all we need to do. So if we were to say, hello, and I wanted to say just a bunch of words here, and I go ahead and save this, and I make sure that my phone is plugged in because it looks like my Android guy disappeared on me. And then I click on my little Android guy. And I go ahead and I load my my language and I click say hello. Hello, I am talking though the TTS voice system and I Now this is very long, so we'll go ahead and hit stop. And you will see that it stops. So if I click it again, hello, I and then I click stop, it stops it immediately. Simple enough. 
Now you can come over here and look at the different supported languages and you can see here's all the different supported languages and their codes and their um, different uh, country of origin. So you could type like Denmark or Belgium, you could be Dutch or you could do something like English Australia or something like that. Unfortunately, you cannot set the um, gender or the different type. I know you can in the API, but the creator of the plugin hasn't implemented that yet. However, I'm sure that they would implement it if people asked them to. Um, but this will give you a pretty good ref reference of all of the different languages that is supported inside of the plugin. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description below so you guys can go through them and find the correct language for you and the correct thing for you so you can mess around with it and play around with it. But that is all I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, you know, if you dislike this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button because I am here to make content for you guys. Now, this video was a viewer suggestion and as with all of my videos, so if you have a suggestion, let me know because I'm here to make content for you guys. And this is what my channel is all about is making content that you guys want. And if you have any questions about this video, hit me up in the comments below or jump on the discord and we can have a conversation. Link is in the description below. I'll be more than happy to talk to you, but that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all next time. Thanks.